Hi, it's Sandra, and I have my um, November Manny by Me box. I actually got this on Friday, and I had family over, so I didn't have a chance to open it. But um, this is the November box, and if you don't know anything about these subscription boxes, they're $25 a month, and you can um, you sign up, and then if you don't like the month um, theme, you can always just pass on that and go to the next one. You can pass on that or buy it or whatever. So it's kind of a good deal. It's $25. It gives you two exclusive plates and two stamping polishes and a free gift. And if you don't, if you got too many polishes and you say, eh, I don't want that much polish, you can always get the express kit and that's $18. So let's go ahead and get into this. So this is November, November's box, which means it's Christmas. So we've moved right from Halloween to Christmas. And let's see what we got here. All right, so as usual, we've got our two little cards, one that tells us about the polishes, which is Spearmint and Winterberry. So it is definitely appropriate for our holiday season, Christmas. And this one says that it, um, it has a dazzling pearl finish, and this one is a cream. So um, very pretty, red and green, can't go wrong with that. And here is an actual... Uh, manicure that they did which again I always find it interesting when they use different polishes for their manicures but that's very pretty I love the um the um blue in there and the um the white snowflakes I love snowflakes usually um towards the end of Christmas I'm like oh I can't wait just to do winter scenes penguins snowflakes polar bears all that so that's always a lot of fun and then on the back it shows you exactly how they did it so let's get into what we have all right, so I have seen some um, unboxing of these, and I did know that our free gift this time is this little keychain. It's a Maniology, um, looks like a, a bottle of polish, and it's got a cool key ring on here. Let's take this out and look at it. All right. Oh, that's very cute, and it's got a little, like a little um, Christmas ornament on it. Very cute, and you can even hook it onto your whatever you want to hook it onto. Very nice, and it's that cool pink with all the glitter in there. Very cool. Okay, so that's the free gift. Kind of festive, I would say. All right, and now we got a little um, sticker right here. Polish powered. Very cute. And then we've got our plates. So let's go through the plates, look at these. And what I seen online was that they're extremely traditional plates, which always makes me happy because I like traditional Christmas stuff. So the first one is uh, 116. Let's zoom in on this one. And it's got a whole bunch of different things. We got snowflakes up here and Christmas trees and um, just uh, branches and holly and some little animals, forest animals here, and it looks like a little pony. Um, it says, hello, winter, um, Christmas. And we've got some neat full, full nail designs. Let's take this off. There you go. Very cute. These little snowflakes, Noel, spell out Noel. That's kind of cute, too. You could do that over a couple nails. And I like the little ornaments hanging down with the different things on it. Christmas tree is cool. Some little berries and holly. Very cool. Very Christmassy. All right, so that's the first plate. Second plate is M115. And again, we got a whole bunch of traditional things. We got like these gingerbread stuff, let it snow, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, candy cane, like sweater. It's a sweater design and just a whole bunch of woodland animals. And we've got a whole bunch of ornaments here. And then a little um, reindeer um, strip right here. Little hearts cute. Very cute. Okay, so take that off.
Again, this is one one five. So I think it's the very cute Christmas, and I did mention on um, one of my other videos that the um, Christmas box that they did that had um, the stamping plates in it, I think those are really unique and cool. And although I like these plates, they're kind of, you know, kind of blah. Not blah, but just okay. Whereas I thought the, um, the box, they had some cool layering on there going on there with the bulbs and everything and the big bulb and i just think that they really did a unique job on the box and then the subscription box you know it's just not as un un unique i would say as um the other box that the christmas box was so let's look at these polishes oh that's very pretty very pretty polish and this is winterberry Let's see how that stamps. We'll do the sock with the winterberry. Or no, we'll do one of these. Let's do this with the winterberry. Flip this around here. Get me a scraper. And see how this looks. Very pretty. Move some of the stuff out of my way. on here all right so as you would expect it doesn't show up very well on the black but it does show up on the white it's very pretty though it's almost like a pinky red I would say but it's very pretty something different I would say all right and then let's do the green Oh, and don't forget, if you do buy something from Maniology, please don't forget to use my 10% discount. It gives you 10% off, and it helps me to um, do my giveaways. So don't forget to use NS10 to get your 10% off. All right, let's do the green in the same color, in the same stamp. No, let's do this one. Let's do the bulbs here. I love Christmas bulbs. I love those stamps. Those are cool. It's a nice traditional green. All right. Let's do it this way. Yeah. Let's do it this way. I waited too long. See if this will go on there. No, okay. So as you can see, now you this kind of does show up on the black. So it shows up pretty decent on the black and of course on the white. But it's very pretty. Very nice traditional green. All right, let's clear this off. All right, so the next step is I'm going to do a manicure with this. We'll see how it turns out. What I'd like to do is red and green nails. I don't know if I'll end up doing that because all this stuff on here is really a lot of green and red stuff. So maybe I'll do my nails white like they did. I think they kind of did that in their picture. So all right, so let me um, get my nails ready and I'll be back to do a manicure. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little snowflake border here and I don't have to get it all in because there's no way it's gonna fit across my nail or the nail. So scrape that off. And there it is. And I'm gonna put this one on, I think the red one. So here's a red one. I'm going to put it up here. And if I got enough, which I should, I'm going to put it down here as well. Okay. So I just used two portions of the... Um, little snowflake border on that one. We're gonna do more with that, but let's for now, let's put this on here before this completely dries. And we'll put it right there. Oh, it was still not dry. 
So what I'm going to do is that's okay. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put some more. I waited too long and it dried again. So I'm going to put some smudge free top coat on there and then I'm going to fill it again with the rest of the stamp. The little um, ornament stamp is really cute. So, I mean, I think this is really, really cute. Okay, let's let that dry for a couple minutes, hopefully not too long. All right, so I did the snowflake on that, and what I wanted to do was I wanted to put some of these, I want to put this little tree in here. I think this tree is really cute on the, on the, another white one. So that's going to go somewhere, but I need something for the green. And I thought about these little trees. If I do those in white and put those across, I think those would be cute too. So let me see if this is going to be all right. It's still very gooey. Okay. Let's do... Let's see what these little trees turn out to be. I think these are really cute too. These I think I'm going to border... Just like I did the snowflakes, I'm going to do these. On the green nail. to do it again for the next one. There's that one. I'll do that again, but in the meantime, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this rest of this little Let's see where do I want? I'll line it up right there. So there's the little ornaments. Very cute. And then let's do this uh, tree border again. I'm going to use the white. This time I'm going to go down at this side, use this side. Okay. Very cute. Okay. And then one of these, I wanted to do the sweater one. So I'm going to do the sweater right here. And I want to do it in. Um, both colors, green and red. Some green. And some red. Now when you do this, you see them um, like swiping these a couple times with the scraper. 
If you want it to blend, you want to scrape it multiple times. If you want to see the different, the same, the colors that you've used, you don't want to keep scraping it. So I want the kind of, the, I don't want them to blend too much. So you notice how I did it very lightly. Because I wanted both the red and the green to show up kind of independently. I did get some blending, but for the most part, they showed up the colors. Okay, so there's that one. Wipe this off. Got all these um, stampers that I did not clean up. All right, so that's that. We got one more. And I want to put something small in the middle of those too. And I don't know if I can find anything, but we'll try. Okay, so on the last white one, let's see what else we can do. Let's do the little heart in red. I want to do this little red heart. This reminds me like of a Scandinavian or um, I really, I like the little heart. Let's see what that looks like. Got a dirty stamper again. Let's see what this looks like. Very pretty. It's a little heart. All right, let's see what we got that we can put in the center of these. So, the um, let's do Let's do the little, well, we could do the, let's do the little snowflake in the center of the green one. See how that looks. That's really cute. That little snowflake hanging from a string is so cute. So we're gonna take this one and put this hanging right in the center. Uh, let's see. Very cute. All right, and then the tree. Do you have any other little trees we can put in the center? Let's see. Let's try this in the center. I'm gonna reverse paint this little berries and see what that looks like. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I, I decided to do the little ornament that was on the same plate, but it was the hanging. So instead of doing the chair, the little um, holly and the berries, I did the ornament. So that's what I'm gonna stick on this green one. Uh, let's see if we can get this on here good. Okay, so there's a little ornament in the center. And then you have to, I think I have to jazz this one up with the heart a little bit. So what I was thinking was, I'll take the edges from here 
And I'm gonna do that in green. And I'm gonna put that around the heart. So I'll take this, uh, let's see, do I have, again, I don't have any, there's a clean stamper, okay. Take this, there's the little edging. Okay, take this off, and I'll put one at the top and one at the bottom. Okay, so one there, and then I'm gonna have to do another scrape of one, because this one just would not go all the way across. Hmm, let's see. Okay. And again, to take this little excess off of here. here there all right so very traditional manicure that's all I got to say about that it's extremely traditional let me get this off of here Okay, so here they are, a very traditional look. I think it's very pretty. There's lots of images you could take and move around and put with different things. I've already got the smudge free top coat on here. So now I'm going to put my, um, my permanent top, or not my permanent, but my um, thicker top coat. And I think these turned out really cute. And like I said, extremely traditional. Let me get all this on here. And for those of you that have seen my videos, my favorite top coat is the Glisten and Glow. It's just a beautiful top coat. It's the closest thing to gel I think you're gonna get without using gel as far as a top coat. All right, so there you go. There is the manicure for the Maniology November box. And I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.